Delving into the project this year meant researching and, and drawing a lot. Uh, but once my initial plans for the project were laid out, things really took off. I wasn't exactly sure where I was going with the project, but I knew I needed to distinguish somehow between the different worlds that I was representing in the piece. I also wanted to incorporate a bit of the same painting style from last year's sketchbook. So I decided to cover certain worlds with a protective coating of masking fluid until I was ready to actually deal with them. I then proceeded to go through a long series of painting sessions where I attacked different worlds or themes each time, and sometimes it was based on a particular color direction or perhaps it was just to work on areas that had been previously ignored. Gradually the piece built up and I was ready to remove the masking. At this point the project really started to take shape. Isolating certain worlds with masking had really been a good choice and I liked the way the animals looked clean and crisp. I decided to highlight that and redrew the animals with a heavy ink which really made them pop off the page. In the last stages of the project, the red and white stripes, which at one point I thought of as just suggestive elements of the traditional carousel tops or tents, started to take on new meaning. I saw them as representing the three worlds of my carousel, my personal world, the external world of the Arab Spring, and my child's perspective of the world around her. I decided to push that concept further. I did three super large stripes on the back side of the carousel representing each world. I then continued the stripes onto the cover and combined them with a quote-unquote ticket to ride. The final project is presented in two parts, a book and a video. The video represents the third world or the world from the perspective of a child. And this video is designed to be viewed in conjunction with the book. So there's a link to it on the cord which actually pulls the carousel together. You can view the video online at any time.